this okay so effect of abiotic factors is our topic today abiotic factors are also known as the density independent factors so density independent factors what are the main density independent factors temperature it is not density dependent independent it is humidity rainfall light air water soil all these are abiotic factors that is it is not living factor mm. so i am going to talk about the effect of temperature how does this temperature affect the life of insect then we will move to the moisture then light others depending on the uh, maintenance of body temperatures if we look at the uh, animal there are different types of animals you will see some warm blooded animals <coughs> cold blooded animals socio homeotherapic animals so insect in which particular group insects belong to it is not warm blooded animal it is a cold blooded animal so warm blooded animals they are called endothermic animals <coughs> or homeothermic animals so uh, in different name or different terms they can be called warm blooded for example human being we are warm blooded animals that is higher animals they are more or less warm blooded animals what is warm blooded animals probably you know those who can maintain their body temperatures irrespective of the whatever they are it does not matter but they have the ability to maintain their body temperatures if for example i am taken to or you are taken to some colder regions your body temperature will remain 36 or 37 degree centigrade but if an insect is taken to a colder region for example in zero degree temperature insect body temperatures will just go to the zero it will reach to the zero so it cannot maintain its temperature body temperature so its body temperature is directly proportional to the just environmental temperature that is the metabolism our metabolic activities remains more or less same if we are taken to different environmental or temperature conditions that is why we are the endothermic animals or homeothermic animals or warm blooded animals we can say but the cold insects if you look at the insects they are called the poikilothermic animals or ectothermic animals poikilothermic animals they the body metabolism that is the metabolic activities will be directly proportional to the environmental temperature if the temperature is high the metabolism will be higher the rate of metabolic activities will be higher if the temperature is high when the temperature goes down the metabolic activity will be low so as a result their development their multiplications their egg-laying capacity their longevity all will be affected due to the change in the environmental conditions probably in the last class i told you the uh, you will not find many insects in the colder countries or temperate countries but in the tropical countries subtropical countries you will see a lot of insects so why because the temperature the insects cannot tolerate the too cold temperature even too high temperatures so we need to know what is the uh, optimum zone for the survival of insects for the development of insects so then we can just predict the development of insects the population of insects 
So temperature is very important factor for us to know, for the EU to know, the students of agriculture to know what will be the uh, rate of development of insect, those who are especially crop pest. So insect is a poikilothermic animal. Insect is an ectothermic animal. Insect is a cold-blooded animal. And socio homeothermic animal insects, some of the insects, a, a few insects, they can also call socio homeothermic animals. Although they are poikilothermic, but still they have some ability to change their environmental temperatures. For example, honeybee. Honeybee, when the environmental temperature is too high, honeybee is an insect, but they can maintain their environment they can, you know, when the temperature is too high, they can just reduce the high temperature in their hive, in their colony by themselves. So such animals are called homeothermic animals. They can create their own environment, homeothermic. Yeah. So these are the uh, classification, depending on the temperature, animal kingdom is divided into these three. Now, Temperature, I told you, regulates the development. It regulates the fecundity, feeding, movement, dispersal, and distribution of insects. There are all these different parameters. You can see development, fecundity, feeding, movement, dispersal, and distribution are affected. That is due to the temperature. So we must know it. I told you there is a range of temperature that is optimum of fecundity. I'm coming to that fecundity. It's good questions. What is fecundity? Fecundity is the capacity of an insect. That is the egg laying capacity. How many eggs an insect can lay is called the fecundity. That is the ability of a female to produce the individuals. How many individuals she can produce in her life is called the fecundity of that particular individual, particular species. Is it clear? How many individuals, offspring, it can produce? That is fecundity. So insects fecundity, for example, a human, we, uh, one woman, she can produce at best 15 individuals in her lifetime in 40 or 50 years um, active reproduction time. She can produce maximum 15 individuals, 15 human. But <coughs> in case of insects, you will find it is different. A female, she can produce thousands of individuals in one week times. So, even 2000 individuals will be produced in just two, three to four days times. So that is called the fecundity. So the fecundity also varies depending on the uh, species, species to species, the fecundity varies, but this fecundity is affected or it varies depending on the environmental temperatures. I will come to that as you ask the questions, what is fecundity? Uh, so it is nothing but the capacity of producing egg. What is the optimum temperature or normal temperatures? Optimum temperature. Optimum temperature. This is the zone of temperatures, 10 to 35 degree. Insect prefers these zones. So within this zone, insects uh, zone of optimum or normal development, insects development is more or less okay. But if it goes beyond this, that is above 35 or below 10 degrees centigrade, the development will be seriously affected. Seriously affected. That is, so we, this is called the optimum temperatures for normal development of insects, okay. Or we can say the zone of optimum or normal development. The species is 
active within a certain limit of temperature. So you can say this is the limit of temperatures. The species will be active. So in general, one thing you need to know the insects grow more rapidly in warm temperatures or warm weather than in cold weather. In general, you need to know that the growth is rapid in warm weather. That is when the temperature is high. Well, 10 degree and 35 degree centigrade. When the temperature is 35 degree centigrade, the growth is much more higher than the 10 degree centigrade. Why? Because the metabolic activity of insects will be much more high, high than the 10 degree centigrade. So the, I told you the metabolism or the metabolic activity is directly proportional to the environmental temperature. As the temperature increases, the metabolic activity rate will be increased. As the temperature decreases, the metabolic rate will be decreased in case of insects. So let us move to the next point, what is a point we, we call it thermal constant. Thermal constant, what is that? A total amount of heat or heat energy required to complete the development. And this is measured in degree days. Total amount of heat. Insect requires a certain amount of heat for completion of its development. What is development? Do you have any idea what is development? <laughs> একদম ভ্রূণ অবস্থা থেকে যে মানে বেবিটা হয় মানে ওইটুকু মানে আর কি এগ্রোনমিতে যেটা পড়েছি স্যার starting from the egg stage we can say from the egg to the adult stage, this is called the completion of development. Completion of development, for example, we, a human being starting from its, that's early ovum stage and it will go develop into an adult. For example, at 18 years old, she or he will be termed as an adult. So this is the time of development, developmental period. Then the at 18 years old or like similar as at similar is he or she can go for the next generations, development of next generations. So this particular period is the, called the developmental period. So developmental period is 18 years for human being, for example. But for insect, this is more or less fixed. If you uh, go to the different countries, almost the same as 18 years is fixed. So this developmental period, in case of insect, this is not fixed like that. Developmental period varies. How many days the insect will take to complete its development? You need to calculate it. We need to know it. And how can, why, how can it varies? So we can say that an insect needs a total amount of heat energy to complete the development. Total amount of heat energy, it is expressed in degree days. For example, 400 degree days or 500 degree days or 450 degree days or 430 degree days, 437, whatever may be the, there is a fixed degree days for a specific insects. It has been calculated by the experiments. So if you just leave the insects at different environmental temperatures, you will find that insect is taking variable time. It is taking
accepts at 20 degrees centigrade, it may take 60 degrees centigrade. And the same insects when it is taken or uh, to a temperature of 30 degree, it may take only 20 days. So look at the variations. The insect when it is taken to high temperature, it can complete its development in short period of time. When it is low temperature, it completes its development in it is taking longer time to complete its development. So in this way, we can say it developed then why it is happening. It is the total amount of heat it needs. When it is um, kept at a temperature of 10 degrees, if you leave it for 30 days, so it is how many, how much temperature it is getting in 30 days. If the same insect is taking to the 30 degree temperatures, the definitely it will get the same amount of heat in short period of time. Because every day the temperature it is so This is called the total amount of heat will be same. So that's why the, um, the developmental period will be shorter when the temperature is high. Is it clear to you? total amount of heat required to complete the development is called the thermal constant. Thermal constant. It's expressed in degree days. It is specific, but it is specific. specific. It is specific. It is specific. It is true. But for no species, it will be different. There are many species, hundreds and thousands of species in nature. All the insects, they have different degree days, different types of requirements for completions of their development. We have no insect development, you know, we have no other requirement is different. Come to the, what happens when the temperature goes too low, when the temperature is too high, the insect, this is the unfavorable temperature for it. So insect shows some activities. So the change in their activities, what is happening? They may be too active when the temperature is favorable. So they are active at favorable temperature range. But the unfavorable temperature may take them to the different situations. That is, they go to the hibernation. When the temperature is too low, that is a period, what is hibernation? Probably you have learned it in your previous classes, mainly. Hibernation is a period of suspended activity in individual. Suspended activity of individuals occurring during the seasonal low temperature. Hibernation, it usually happens in many cold-blooded animals. You will not find cold-blooded animal, many cold-blooded animal in winter. They have gone to hibernation. That is, it is also in case of insects, they call it a diapause, diapause. Diapos, that is, they will pass the time. There will be no development. There will be no change in their life. They will not need any food for their survival. Whatever the stored food they have, they will utilize that food and they will pass the hard time. It is called the hard time for them. And when the temperature will be again favorable, their activities, body activities will be resumed. So this is the insect can go to hibernations due to the unfavorable seasonal temperatures. When the temperature is too low, insect will go to the hibernation or in the form of diapause. Is it clear? Hibernation is Sir, but they are cold-blooded. Uh... 
I make it clear. What did you? What did you want to know? Insects. So I they're cold-blooded animals, like sir. They're cold-blooded animals, but they're going diapause. Why they can change their metabolic activity with the change in temperature of the environment? But they're going. It, yes, but the the temperature is too low. That is why. their rate of metabolism will be more or less zero so they will not be able to uh, just uh, uh, they will not be able to continue their metabolic activity so that's why they will pass some hard time so it is in adverse environmental situations they pass that time this is called the diapause uh, in case of insects and we call it a hibernation there will be no activities just a period of suspended activity in individuals occurring during the seasonal low temperature okay. so um, for example uh, this is winter if you go to the field in bangladesh many crop fields you will not see the many insects or where have they gone now they are passing the hard time and they have just without any activities they are hiding somewhere but when the um, uh, temperature will rise in the month of march or by the end of february again their metabolic activity will start and they will come out from the diapause so this is happening in uh, uh, in the insects life so unfavorable seasonal temperatures insect can suspend their activities and what is estivation estivation is uh, just opposite opposite means when the temperature is uh, during the seasonal high temperature or in dry weather the temperature has been too high so that's why they is still there will be some deleterious deleterious effects that is harmful effects on its body so they will try to hide somewhere estivation and there will be this particular a uh, suspension that is period of suspended activity of individual is called estivation in high temperatures so, so what are the temperature ranges uh, in case of hibernation and estivation hibernation and estivation the normal zone i told you 10 to 35 degree is the normal zone below 10 degree centigrade or for some insects it can be a uh, 15 degree below 15 degree it depends on species to species in general i told you 10 around 10 to 35 so above 35 degree centigrade in some cases insects can tolerate 40 degree centigrade so depending on the species so that particular species when the temperature is 15 degree or below it will go to the hibernations when the temperature is uh, above 40 degree the insects will go to the estivations so it is not fixed for all the insects you know insects there are many many species of insects so it varies as the thermal constant varies the hibernation or the estivation it will also vary depending on the species some insect species will like the colder temperatures so they they will go to the uh, hibernation so when the temperature is too low let us so go to the estivation we can also call this as diapause like they are going uh, or suspending their activities no so estivation both... diapause er khetre jeti hoy the diapause there will be no metabolic activity usually the metabolic activity will go near to zero but they will survive okay but in case of estivation estivation there will be some metabolic activities they will maintain but the in case of uh, hibernations they can pass longer period of time but in estivations they cannot pass longer period for the short period of uh, the high temperature or dry weather conditions they can sustain okay. so diapause is quite long period they can pass in the form of diapause even several months they can pass 
but estimations will not be that long like hibernation so now coming to a term developmental rate i told you the developmental rate will be higher kokon developmental rate will be higher when the temperature will be higher when the temperature will be low or low the developmental rate will be low it is the rate of development it depends on the metabolic activity the so metabolism will be higher or metabolic activity will be higher when the temperature is high so developmental rate developmental rate jodi ekjon manush 18 bochor lage tahole tar ek dine koto ruko development holo that is the developmental rate to completes its development it takes 18 years so what is the developmental rate we can say total development took 18 years ek dine koto ta development holo total the oi ta ke development ta ke bhag korle amra bolte hobe that is the developmental rate ekta insect may take 30 days to complete its development in one day what was the rate of development so that is the developmental rate a developmental rate jodi amra jani tahole we can calculate the developmental time developmental time what is developmental time the time required to complete a specific stage or the total uh, life insect you know insect has different instars amra boli first instar second instar third instar fourth instar fifth instar larval instars or nymphal instars first how many how many days an insect takes to complete its first instar or to complete its second instar to complete the total larval instars to complete its pupal stage to complete its total development definitely at amra jante hobe the developmental rate er sathe ei din ta ferry korbe sheti holo je ei koy ta jinish jodi jana thake tin ta jinish ekta holo je developmental time dt we need to find out we need to find out developmental time koto din ei insect e nibe to complete its development ajke baby after 2 weeks or 3 weeks that baby will be a mother this is possible to calculate ajke insect jeta young insect that insect will be a mother after how many days that is the completion of development we can say that is the adult so a adultic shudhu insect er khetre ei 18 bochor eti bola jabe na eti insect er khetre jodi insect er temperature high hoy the developmental time will be short jodi temperature low hoy tahole it will take long period of time farmer ke ajke jodi mathe jomite ami insect dekhi tale bolbo je insect yes you we have seen some insects in your field but you don't need to worry because the temperature is too low it will not be able to complete its development and it will not go to the next generations prashno holo je next generation ni eto bhoy keno bhoy holo je ekta insect insect ni amader eto bhoy keno eto matha bethai keno insects are our enemy and sometimes we cannot We, we are not successful in managing them they can change their population rapidly in some situation the when the temperature or the environmental conditions is favorable they can build up their populations farmer chinta korar age farmer bhabte pare na je eto taratari kibhabe ei pokati tar matre eshe tar khet ke akraman korlo karon holo je an insect can produce many many individuals in her life a female she can lay 1000 eggs that 1000 eggs will be developed into 1000 individual insects in one week time or two weeks times ekta ma theke 1000 insect toiri hoye gelo ar oi 1000 ma jodi two weeks 
পরে যদি সে আমার এক হাজার করে প্রত্যেকে তৈরি করে তাহলে হাউ মেনি ইনসেক্ট ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল ইন দ্যাট পার্টিকুলার ইউনিট এরিয়া এটা হলো ফেকান্ডিটি ইনসেক্ট এর রেট অফ রিপ্রোডাকশন দ্যাট ইজ দি ফেকান্ডিটি ইজ ভেরি হাই অ্যাজ কম্পেয়ার টু দি আদার অ্যানিমেলস সো দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াই দে ক্যান প্রডিউস দেয়ার জেনারেশন কুইকলি সামটাইমস ইন দি টেম্পারেচার ইজ ভেরি হাই and we need to know what will be the developmental rate aske je mathe je poka ache after how many insects will go to the next generation sheti is possible to predict sheti holo amader subject today the developmental rate will tell us the developmental time will tell us the when the there will be next generation in the field thik ache tale ei developmental time to calculate kora jay ki diye একটা ইনসেক্টের দি ইকুয়াল টু এস ই টি এস ই টি ইজ নাথিং বাট দি থার্মাল কনস্ট্যান্ট আই টোল্ড ইউ সাম অফ ইফেক্টিভ টেম্পারেচার সাম অফ ইফেক্টিভ টেম্পারেচার ইজ এস ই টি ইফেক্টিভ টেম্পারেচার অর ইট ইজ কল দি থার্মাল কনস্ট্যান্ট এন্ড হাউ ক্যান উই এক্সপ্রেস দ্যাট থার্মাল কনস্ট্যান্ট ইন ডিগ্রি ডেজ ডিগ্রি then degree you know 30 degree centigrade that degree and then after that degree we say it is a day that, that is called degree days so a degree days the figure the am we express kore theke we express 400 500 or 200 300 depending on the insect species or it can be any any figure so this degree days uh, varies we know this degree days it is it can be calculated by doing some experiments i told you we putting the insects at different environmental temperatures the rate of development can be calculated and that rate of development can be plotted against the x axis and y axis so at a temperature uh, the x axis and the development will be with the y axis then we can just calculate it by putting a simple straight line equations then uh, it is possible to calculate the uh, act uh, act so now come to another point what is t and t0 t is the temperatures you want to know at this particular temperatures what will be the uh, developmental durations for example uh, now it is 20 degree centigrade so at 20 degree centigrade what will be the developmental durations of of a particular for a grasshopper grasshopper is an insect the grasshopper development at 20 degree centigrade a grasshopper is at the 25 degree the solid that when i parbo bear korte je koto din nibe to complete the, its development same way hello so uh, some of effective temperatures effective temperature and thermal constant and t0 this is t0 is the lower developmental threshold or it is called the base temperatures a t0 is the base temperatures so act divided by t minus t0 if you use this formula you can get the developmental time of any insect that is total time it will take to complete its development so t is the temperatures you are looking for that is you are you want to know at this particular temperatures what will be the developmental duration of particular insect and t0 is there is a base temperature for that particular species of insects base temperatures that is called the lower developmental thresholds what does it mean lower development of thresholds that is the temperatures low temperatures at which there will be no development that is the development will be zero there will be no metabolic activity but there will be life will be sustained so that is the called th- 
harm lower developmental threshold ldt or tb or t0 for example an insect lower development threshold is 10 degree centigrade what does it mean 10 degree centigrade can anybody say oh, the lower developmental threshold is 10 degree centigrade মানে স্যার 10 ডিগ্রি তে চলে গেলে ওই যে হাইবারনেশনে চলে যাবে কোনো ডেভেলপমেন্ট হবে না ওয়েন দি ডিগ্রি এবং এর নিচে এর নিচে গুড 10 ডিগ্রি রিচ করে গেলে ওই পার্টিকুলার ইনসেক্ট এর আর কোনো ডেভেলপমেন্ট হবে না তার মেটাবলিক অ্যাক্টিভিটি জিরো হয়ে যাবে বাট ইট উইল সারভাইভ আবার এমন একটা স্টেজ আসতে পারে দ্যাট ইজ লিথাল মেবি 0 ডিগ্রি অর 1 ডিগ্রি অর 2 ডিগ্রি ওই ডিগ্রি তে চলে গেলে ইনসেক্ট উইল নট সারভাইভ দ্যাট ইজ লিথাল সো একটা টেম্পারেচার আছে ইট ক্যান সাসটেইন ইটস লাইফ but there will be no development that is called the 10 degree but when it is 10.1 or 10.5 or 11 degree centigrade again its metabolic activity will start and it will resume its development tar mane holo oi 10 degree ta holo its base temperature tale 10 degree er upore jodi na ashe tahole tar effective temperature nai তার ইফেক্টিভ টেম্পারেচার সে 10 এর উপরে যেতে হবে তাহলে এখন আমার জানতে হবে যে যদি সে তাকে এক মাস কেন দুই মাস কেন তিন মাস চার মাসও সে ওই জায়গায় থাকবে যদি সে আর কোনো নেক্সট জেনারেশনে আর রিচই করতে পারতেছে না সে লার্ভাই ছিল সে লার্ভাই হয়ে যাচ্ছে তার কোনো ডেভেলপমেন্ট হচ্ছে না দিস ইজ কলড দি লোয়ার ডেভেলপমেন্টাল থ্রেশহোল্ড এখন ইফেক্টিভ টেম্পারেচার তাহলে डिफारेंस the what is the figure what will be the figure t minus t0 15 15 15 good 15 15 and i know that 15 uh, act is fixed for a particular species act for example is a uh, 360 degree days act act for an insect is 360 days in x insect 360 day degree days so we know act we would like to know the developmental period of that particular insects at 25 degree centigrade we know the developmental threshold temperatures so can we calculate now the developmental duration of that particular insects developmental time टेम्पारेचार ওই ইনসেক্টটাকে 15 ডিগ্রি তাপমাত্রায় একটা এনভায়রনমেন্টাল কন্ডিশনে সে এখন বাস করতেছে এখন আমি বলতে চাই যে হাউ মেনি ডেজ দ্যাট ইনসেক্ট উইল টেক টু কমপ্লিট ইটস ডেভেলপমেন্ট ইউ উইল হ্যাভ টু ক্যালকুলেট বের করো 72 ডেজ কত 72 72 ডেজ ইট ইজ টেকিং দ্য সেম ইনসেক্ট পনেরো ডিগ্রি তাপমাত্রায় দেখা যাচ্ছে আড়াই মাস সময় নিচ্ছে তার একটা ডেভেলপমেন্ট কমপ্লিট করতে আর একটা ওই ইনসেক্টে কিন্তু মাত্র তিন সপ্তাহ বা সাড়ে তিন সপ্তাহের মধ্যে ইট কমপ্লিট ইস ডেভেলপমেন্ট এরপরে যদি আমি আরো উপরে যাই ওই ইনসেক্টকে আমি তিরিশ ডিগ্রি তাপমাত্রায় নিয়ে গেলাম ইনভারমেন্টাল টেম্পারেচার Days. 18 days. 18 days. 18 days. 
टेम्पारेचार्स I think it has been clear to you. Is it clear to you now? Sir, Abar sir. Sir, it to our one bar bolle bhalo hai. Our one bar bolli bolli holo je. Amader target holo je developmental rate vary kore insect life. Why the physiology, the metabolic activity of insect? It is cold. Blooded animal. When temperature increases, its metabolic activity increases. जो तो metabolic activity increase कर शे ताना तड़ी बुरा हो जाए, बुरा हो जाए माने तो शे ताना तड़ी बड़ो हो जाए, बड़ो हो जाए शे पौन बच्चा दिते थके, तार पौने था life शेष हो जाए. जो तो temperature कम थके, तार metabolic activity कम तो शे अनेक दिन लंबा समय पार करते हैं. Insect के क्षेत्र में ये टक खूब माने बेशी प्रोजेक्ट जो है. ठीक है जेनारेशन कमप्लीट कर फेले डीम पेड़े दिल एक हजार डीम दिए दिल एक हजार डीम देख लगे एक हजार डीम आज डेभलपमेंट है उदाहरण डिटारेशन I need to know the what is the base temperature for that particular insects. That is the there will be no development or zero development. I mean, just the jani, that will it is possible predict for. A insect into extra day par kore di the par. Just the temperature that is zero degree centigrade chole ashe. But that will see that the what day will be zero degree to chole ashe temperature. Insect development is going to be too slow. Who slow slowly it will bounce ashe. Their metabolic activity is very low. That is, we baro minus two is equal to two. Divided, three hundred shaid divided by two. What was it? Extra. 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 Extra.
माइनस जीवन पे जा मीन सर खुब लो हो जाए बडिर मेटाबलिक एक्टिविटी प्रब्लेम जो देखा जाए तक हाइट कर ठंडा जैगा खुजते थके जगह भाव से सार्वइाइव करते थे बडिर एक्टिविटी खूब बेसि होना पयोथार्मिक 
the animal whose metabolic activity is directly proportional to the environmental temperature. Insects metabolic activity is directly proportional to the environmental temperature. It means that environmental temperature when rises, its metabolic activity will be increased. When environmental temperature goes down, metabolic activity will be reduced. That is, the development will be reduced. It is a poikilothermic animal. So insect the poikilothermic animal. Honeybee is also poikilothermic animal, but it is a special type of animal. It can produce an environment by itself in its own house. Amader bashar modhe amra kori ki jokhon khub gorom hoy tokhon ami esi ta sere ditsi. Esi ta sere ditsi pa amar chesta korte si bashar environment, viral environment is too high temperature, but uh, inside my house it's a, it's quite cozy, but all right. So it one uh, I can just maintain the environmental temperature inside. So a thorner khomota onik insect nai. J insect raache that is called a homeothermic animal, homeothermic insect. Honeybee has got this ability to maintain some types of special environment in its hive. Tar mau chakir modde she nije ekta environment toiri korte pare. Why the temperature too high holeu? It can maintain its little low temperature. So this is called a homeothermic individual, homeothermic species. Is it clear? Time up, yes, sir. sir. If uh, T is 25 degrees Celsius, then what does it mean, sir? T is 25 degrees centigrade. I am going to say, I am going to say, 25 degree uh, environmental temperature, our insect development, what will be the developmental time? DT at 25 degrees centigrade. Jodi bolli je 27 degrees centigrade kato hobe. Tao kintu ami wait kore felti parbo. Jodi amar A dui ta jana thakbe. A C T at T zero jana thakbe. Ami jante sai this is the temperature range or particular temperature. Ekhane ekta insect kato din nibe. Ami the harat kora amake kyo jigesh kulo je bo 3 degrees centigrade amar environmental temperature. Can you tell me how many days the insect will take to complete its development or to go to the next generation? So, I am both of them. Okay, I am both of them. Because I am Jani or lower threshold to Jani 10 degrees centigrade. Then both trees take 10 minus. So, I am told. So, but for actual Belu, uh, we we will have to consider the normal environmental temperature, right, sir? Yes, normal environmental temperature. Yes. Thank you. Normal sir. environmental temperature. Normal environmental temperatures, the average temperatures we know, the, for example, the average temperatures, the average temperature, 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 the but position minus dosh lo ponoro effective temperatures. E effective temperatures she ponoro kore paatse. Kito tato lagye tin shu shite. Takhon she am bolte par bolje hai. Developmental time is like this. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Thank yes, sir. you. Yes, sir. Sir, so, time up, sir. Time up. Time. डेभलपमेंटा कत दिन our next generation jete sheti holo jamar target nothing else are egulo sob known t0 is known act is known ei ta shudhu unknown 
এখানে যদি বলে আমার না তেইশ ডিগ্রি টেম্পারেচারে কত দিন লাগবে আমাকে যদি কেউ বলে আঠারো ডিগ্রিতে কত দিন লাগবে সেটা আমি বের করে দিতে পারবো এইটুকুই নাথিং এলস ঠিক আছে আমার মনে হয় টাইম ইজ আফ আই উড লাইক টু থ্যাঙ্ক অল অফ ইউ ফর ইউর again if you have any problems we will discuss in the next class so thank you very much thank you assalamu alaikum sir assalam assalamu alaikum time okay mm-hmm.